Hey everybody, this is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. Tonight I thought I would try a quick playthrough, a solo game of the DC Comics deck building game. If you had a chance to check my uh, recent blog, uh, vlog entry on the game variant that was posted over on Board Game Geek, uh, I'm going to give it a try tonight. And I'm going to be playing Batman, who gives me plus one power for each equipment I played during my turn. A couple other things about my setup here. We've got our main line of randomly drawn cards. We've got our deck over here. These are the weakness cards. And since I'm more worried, or primarily worried about trying to take down all the super villains before time runs out, with the weakness card timer which I talked about in my other video if there's anything that's going to cause me to draw a weakness card I'm going to be using these extra vulnerability cards instead they almost function the same but since I'm not really worried about uh, victory points very much uh, I think I'll just use them as a substitute so let's get started in sticking with a particular theme for my game, I'm basically going to imagine that this is a Batman versus Joker situation. And Joker is going to be the last supervillain that I need to defeat. So he's the one that's primarily uh, planning to cause chaos in the city. So I'm going to put his card down here beside or near my Batman card to help me remember to turn over the timer at the appropriate times to turn over the weakness cards so if Batman doesn't uh, run through all of the other supervillains and take out the Joker at the end before time runs out then the Joker has won the game so here we go I'm gonna start with a hand of five cards and Joker tells us right away at the beginning it's time to turn over weakness card number one I've unfortunately got two vulnerability cards in my hand right away but I do have three punch cards for three power uh, Batman likes equipment and why don't we draw or take uh, Aquaman's trident as our first uh, purchase. I'm then going to eliminate the last card in the row following that variant and move everything down. And then I will start to draw my next five cards. And now I need to go on patrol and refill the empty slots. Nothing to worry about there. There is a villain, but there's no attack, so nothing to worry about there. All right. Joker reminds us to flip over the next card. We've got four punches, so four power here. And with that, uh, let's see, four power. Let's, let's take Clayface. I think he's a pretty good card to, to take. We've got to uh, destroy the Catwoman card. We move everybody down. And we're going to have to shuffle. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go on patrol again. Another Suicide Squad and a cheetah so several villains but no immediate attacks so now we can turn over the next weakness card and we're into round three okay it's not the best but not the worst either so let's start with our equipment card and it says if we gain any card this turn we can put it on top of our deck that's going to be two power. Batman will boost that to three power. Three, four, five, six, and the vulnerability won't do anything. Six power. 
let's take down this villain because he's going to give us plus three power in the future and let's use Aquaman's ability to put that card on top of our deck. We have to eliminate the last card in the line, move everybody down and prepare to go on patrol. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Bane, We've, we're gonna get attacked by Bane here. And heat vision. Bane attacks us, and it says that we must uh, choose and discard a card. Well, that's, that's easy. We're going to discard this vulnerability. We're going to start by playing the uh, gorilla guy for plus three power. And then uh, Clayface is going to allow us to uh, copy that card for six power. And the two punches will total eight. Eight power this turn. That's enough to take out the first supervillain, Raza Ghoul or Rayshaw Ghoul. And there we go. Goes into our discard pile. Now, does that. Okay, I don't think that activates quite yet. We've got to eliminate the last card in the row, which is the green arrow and move everybody down one space and we'll draw our next set of cards. We've got three here so we are going to need to shuffle. Well it seems there is quite the debate about the pronunciation of that villain. Raza Ghoul, Rachel Ghoul, uh, I don't know which one's right. <laughs> so uh, I might be saying his name twice every time I get him. We're on patrol now. Uh, super speed. The Joker tells us... What are we into now? The fourth round, fourth turn. And our next villain is... Sinestro. Each player reveals his hand and discards a card for each hero revealed this way. Well, no heroes in our hand. So we'll continue playing the game. We've got four punches. Why don't we take down Bane? Batman takes down Bane. The Suicide Squad card is destroyed. Everybody moves down. And we get our next set of cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, on patrol, the power ring, and the high-tech hero. No attacks to resolve. The Joker reminds us to flip over the next weakness card, and we're ready to go. I stopped my camera for a second and just replayed some of the footage. Um, I did forget one turn to turn over a weakness card. So this is critical to the proper playing of the solo variant. So I'm going to turn over one more weakness card and we should be right where we need to be. So we're going to continue from here. We've unfortunately got two vulnerabilities uh, in our hand, but uh, Raza Ghoul here is going to give us three, four, and five, six, seven, seven power for this turn. And then we can take one card and put it on top of our deck. Three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> well, why don't we go with the power ring? Equipment is always good. And let's put that on top of our, <coughs> our deck. Um, what does that leave us? Four points left. Let's go with the high-tech hero. We'll put him over there. And then now, I think this will activate and go on the bottom here. Haven't coughed all day. <clears throat> and as soon as I start to film, 
there it comes. Okay, so let's see, we just did that. Time to destroy a card. Cheetah's out. Everything moves down. We get our next draw of five, two, three, four, five, five cards. We take a look and see if we have any cards that allow us some kind of defensive move. I don't see any, just in case any of these, these attacks happen during our on patrol step. <clears throat> no attacks, so now Joker reminds us to turn over the next weakness card. Well, uh, this is not too bad. We've got the power ring, let's start with that. Play the power ring and check the next card. It is valuable, so that's going to allow us to get one, two, three, four points from it. Let's copy that with Clayface. That's going to give us eight points. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points. That's pretty good. Let's take down Sinestro for ten. And then that leaves us with three. What to get with three? Maybe super speed. Let's get that one. And that's going to do it here. Uh, did we play Raish? I don't think so. Nope, Raish is the one sitting over here. Raish Razagul. Uh, we need to eliminate a card. Heat Vision is out. Move everybody down. We need to draw our new cards, but it's time to shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Heading into the patrol step. Any defense cards? No. The lasso of truth, the green arrow's bow. Joker time. Uh, turn over the next weakness card. And the next villain, super villain, is uh, Deathstroke. And it says uh, each player reveals his hand and destroys a hero, a superpower, or equipment in his hand or his discard pile. <sighs> well, I don't have a hero. Did it say villain? No? Superpower or equipment? Uh, nothing. And I don't have a discard pile. So we got lucky there. Uh, nothing to worry about from Deathstroke's attack. So let's move on. Plus three power, four, five, six power total. Can't get Wonder Woman. She's going to be eliminated. But we can get uh, these two pieces of equipment. And that's good. That's going to total six. And Batman likes the equipment. So, Wonder Woman, I hate to throw you out, but you've got to go. And let's see. Let me start getting my cards ready. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no defense, no defense, nope. Okay, on patrol, bulletproof, the bat signal, the blue beetle. I don't know who that is. I, I've got to say, I'm not a comic expert at all, uh, but I do know Marvel a little bit better than the DC Universe. I don't know the blue beetle. Joker laughs at us as time is running out. Deathstroke is a distraction. Can we take him out? Let's start with Bane. Using this uh, variant, Bane's attack text is going to basically reverse and help me here. So, plus two power, and then I get to, instead of a foe discarding a card, I get to draw a card. Okay, Aquaman's trident. We'll take it. Two power there. We'll play the trident. Uh, that's four power. Batman makes that five power. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a vulnerability. Ten power. Well, let's take out Deathstroke. That's what it's all about. Leaves us with one point left over. I don't think we can do anything with that. And let's put this on top of our deck, benefiting from Aquaman's trident ability. Just want to check. I always forget. Yeah, I should put him on the bottom of my draw deck. We've got to eliminate a card, so Kid Flash is out. Everybody moves down, and it's time for the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Any cards that give me any kind of defense? Nope. On patrol, Supergirl. Joker time. Weakness card, and the next supervillain to attack is Lex Luthor. Each player gains a weakness for each villain in the lineup. No villains in the lineup. Uh, let me tell you something I would do here. <clears throat> and, and one little tweak to my variant is when you would gain a weakness, uh, since I'm using the weakness cards as a timer, and just at this point I don't want to tinker with that very much, uh, I'm going to be using these extra vulnerability cards instead. I'm not really going to worry about the scoring. Uh, and if you notice, a weakness card will give you minus one victory point at the end. In, in my variant, I just want to focus on whether I win or lose. Uh, not really focus on the points that I get and, and you know, do it that way. So I'm either going to win it or I'm going to lose it. Moving on. Uh, <clears throat> it says Deathstroke. It says when I play him now. You may gain a hero or villain from the lineup. And if we choose not to, it's plus three power. Let's see what we might be able to do here. Six, seven, eight power maximum. That's not enough to take down Luther. Let's use him to take a hero from the lineup and let's get the blue beetle. We'll take him. And we won't get the power points from that. So that's. We use that for purchase power. There's three power, four, five. And five will get us the bat signal. And I think that'll do it. We'll lose this bulletproof. We do have another one down here in case we want to get it later. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Exactly. On patrol, Suicide Squad, Super Speed, and Robin. Joker reminds us to turn over the next card. Come on, we gotta take down Lex. <clears throat> Three power. Um, It says reveal the top card of your deck. In this situation, do I reshuffle this and put it over there? Let me check that. Yep, it's in the rule book. <clears throat> Since the power ring does need to uh, take a look at the next card in your deck, you're supposed to immediately shuffle it. And that's good to know. I wasn't sure about that timing. So what do we have? We're going to play the power ring here. And we're going to look for a card that is one or greater. That's not it. So one, two, three, four, five. Batman makes it six. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Super speed allows us to draw a card. Let's see if we can just get that vulnerability out of the way. And then uh, let's have Clayface copy the power ring and let's try this again. 
Yeah, that's better. All right, so what does that get us to? Well, let me come back to that. Sinestro. When I play Sinestro, it says reveal the top card of the main deck. If it's a hero... Nope. If it's a hero, plus three power and destroy it. Otherwise, put it in your hand. Okay, so we get the Batmobile. So we get the Batmobile for two power. Two power. Three, four, five, six power. Seven, eight, nine power. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve power total. Hopefully I did the math right there. We can take out Lex Luthor. <clears throat> that leaves us with two points left over and we can't get anything. So bulletproof is out. And this one goes to the bottom of our draw pile. Move everybody down. Get our next cards. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Look for any cards. We do have a card that will allow us some defense if anything happens while we're on patrol. And it's the Swamp Thing. <clears throat> so nothing to worry about there. The Joker tells us to turn over the next weakness card. And it's time for the next super villain. Black Manta, first appearance. Each player discards the top card of his deck. If you discard, or if you discarded a card with a cost of one or more, choose one, destroy it, or discard your hand. Well, no, we don't have to worry about it. That was just a, uh, was it discard? Each card reveals the top card of his deck. Discards the top card of his deck. Okay, so this just goes over here. And it cost, the cost was zero, so we don't need to worry about that choice. So that didn't hurt us very much. Let's, uh, let's continue. Well, we can't really power him up <clears throat> this turn. So he's only going to be worth one power right now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, that's enough. We can, with the help of, what is it, the Blue Beetle and the High Tech Hero, I think his name's Cyborg, team up with Batman to take down the Black Manta. So he's out of the game. And we have to eliminate Supergirl. It's time to get ready to go on patrol. One, two, three, four, five. Any defense cards? No. Arkham Asylum comes out. Let's see. Joker time. Turn over the next weakness card. And the next supervillain makes his attack. Brainiac. <clears throat> Each player chooses two cards from his hand and puts them on the table face down. You shuffle all the chosen cards face down. No, shuffle all the ch uh, cards face down and then deal two back to each player at random. Well, let me see. Do I have any cards that will allow me to defend from this attack? No, I don't. Well, uh, I'll choose a punch and a vulnerability. Or is it at random? I think it's worse than that. Isn't it at random? Each player chooses two cards from his hand and puts them face down. Okay, so I get to choose. Well, that's not too terribly bad. So let's, let's go with that. We're going to choose these two. And then I don't have any other players. So I'm going to take these two extra vulnerability cards. And I'm going to shuffle these guys up. And hopefully shuffle them so well. Uh-oh, dropped one. <clears throat> Not turning off the camera. Alright, there's one punch in here. Hopefully I can get it back. I'm going to keep 
these two, and then these two cards are thrown away. Ah, there goes my punch. So I just picked up two vulnerability. Thanks, Brainiac. All right. Well, that weakened us <clears throat> quite a bit here. Uh, Deathstroke says you may gain a hero or a villain from the lineup. Well, how much would we get if we didn't do that? Three power, four, five, six. I don't know. This would allow me to get a hero. I'm just sort of counting out the chances here. That would be plus three from him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not enough to take down Brainiac. Well, let's uh, let's play Deathstroke, and let's use his ability to gain us a hero. So we're going to get Swamp Thing. Did you guys ever see the old Swamp Thing movie from the 80s? Uh, the very first one. Uh, I think it was Adrian Barbeau was in that one. Not the Heather Locklear one, but uh, the very first one. If you haven't seen that, you don't know what you're missing. It's just classic stuff. All right, so we've got Swamp Thing. Deathstroke is done. We'll play the Bat Signal and the Punch. The Bat Signal is going to get us two power and allow us to draw a hero from our discard pile. Let's uh, get the Beetle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six power, let's get Arkham Asylum. Uh, Swamp Thing will uh, power up if we have a location, I think. So we'll do that. Suicide Squad is out. Everybody moves down. One, two, three, four, five. You know, I have to ask myself again, did I put... Uh, Raza Ghoul or Raish on the bottom of the deck. I think I did. I think I'm being a good boy about that. Okay, on patrol. One. Two. Three. Scarecrow. Oh no. Scarecrow is going to attack us. We're going to get a vulnerability unless we can avoid that attack. Defense. All right. Wonder Woman. Thank you. You may discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, draw a card. Well, that was great. Thank you. An equipment card is good for Batman. So we're going to start with that. Aquaman's Trident. Actually, no, no. We're still on patrol. Let's not skip. We avoided that. We drew a card. Now we go to Joker. Turn over a weakness card. Almost forgot. Now we go to playing the cards. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine. Nine power. Nine power. And we can draw a card according to reversing Bane's uh, text there. I think this makes 10 power. 10 power, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 power. The bow uh, makes supervillains cost 2 less to defeat. So we can take out Brainiac for 9 instead of 11. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we only have one point left over. We can't do anything with that. But uh, let's see. The Trident, we can put Brainiac on top of our deck. So let's do that. We've got to eliminate super speed. Move everybody down. And then we only have two cards to draw. So it's shuffle time again. One, two, three, four, five. On 
on patrol. Here we go. Ah, Bane is attacking. <sighs> Choose a discard a card. Let's go ahead and let Bane hit us. Instead of using the flash defense, we're going to let Bane pop us in the jaw and we're going to lose this vulnerability. We'll discard that. Joker. Weakness card. Next supervillain is Captain Cold. Captain Cold is going to attack. We would have to turn over Batman's hero card, but I do have Flash. It says you may discard this card to avoid an attack. Let's avoid Captain Cold's Icy Blast with super speed. Flash drew his fire and caused him to miss and we get to draw two cards one two okay that helped that was that was good what can we do now let's see Lex Luthor if we play him we draw three cards one two three and let's play Clayface and copy that and draw another three cards. One, two, three. All right, so those aren't going to give us any power. Now we'll start calculating the points. Uh, all right, this, let's start with this interesting one. It says um, when you play this, each foe reveals a random card from his hand. Play each revealed non-location. What do you do in a solo game with this one? Well, we don't have any other foes to reveal any cards. So what we do is we take the top two cards from the main deck. And this allows us to play them. And after we play them, uh, I think they go back in the deck. So that's going to give us uh, plus one power. You may put up to two cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Let's resolve that one and then this one. Two cards here on the bottom of my deck, okay? Let's take, uh, let's take Clayface and uh, Lex again. Put them on the bottom of my deck. One power, two, three power. Three power, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're supposed to reveal the next card. It's a villain. All right. Seven, eight. Uh, oh, that gets to go into my hand. The uh, the penguin gets to go into my hand. Uh, if we play the penguin, we get to draw two cards and then discard two cards from our hand. All right, we'll discard this vulnerability. That's for sure. I guess we'll discard the punch. So now where are we? That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Oh, that's no, I gotta do mine. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think I have nineteen power. I certainly hope I did that right. That was difficult. 19 power. Well, for 9, we'll take out Captain Cold. And that leaves us with 10. Let's get Scarecrow. And let's get the equipment here. Cape and the cowl. Robin goes. Maybe the Joker just killed Robin. <laughs> All right. Joker is up. He is the last villain. And we do have some time to pull this off. One, two, three, four, five. 
on patrol now. Three cards are coming out. We know what two of them are. No attacks to uh, process, but we do have to turn over the next timer. Uh, we've got to get him in the next four turns. I bet we can do it. Not with these vulnerabilities, though. So that's no good. Uh, you may gain a hero or villain from the lineup. Well, let's see. Otherwise, it's plus three power. What am I going to get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough to get the Joker. So let's play Deathstroke and we will take Solomon Grundy. And it says when we get him, we may put him on top of our deck. Okay? So we did that. We'll play him for one power and then we get plus three and draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven power. Four. Four and a three. We'll get those two. All right, we didn't get you, Joker, but we're coming after you. Zatanna. I hate to admit this, but I only know of her because of Smallville. Isn't that sad? Move everything down. Two, three, four, five. No attacks to resolve. I should have already gotten my five cards in my hand, but don't see any attacks that I need to resolve right away. And, uh, time to turn over the next weakness card and get started. All right, Joker, we're coming for you, man. Batman is on your trail. I bet with the Green Lantern, uh, Green Arrow's help, we can do it. We'll play this card. Super villains cost two less to defeat, so he's going to be an eight this turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and we get to take a hero from the discard pile. And who do we want to take? Do we have one? Let's take, uh, let's take the Swamp Thing. And I don't know exactly what we've got, but we had more than enough to take out the Joker. So Batman, with the help of the Swamp Thing, the Blue Beetle, and the Green Arrow, we take down Joker and stop him from destroying the city. Had three turns left. Well, um, I hope I kept the mistakes to a minimum there. But that's how you play the uh, DC Comics deck building game solo. So we got through the stack of supervillains uh, within 20 turns. And we had a good time doing it, so thanks for joining me, and I will catch you again later for some more gaming fun.